Thank you, gents. Uh, here we go. This is it. This is the curtain closer for a difficult 2020, but it doesn't get any bigger. The unified world heavyweight championship between Anthony Joshua and his mandatory challenger, Kubrat Pulev. Live and exclusive on Sky Sports, box office in the UK and the zone around the world. I want to just thank a few people before we move forward. Of course, we know how difficult it's been to stage major events this year. We are delighted that we will be the first boxing event to have a thousand fans in the arena on Saturday night. The biggest thanks, of course, to Anthony Joshua and Kubrat Pulev. They stayed patient, they stayed ready. They're here because they want to fight. They didn't want to wait around. We know we're in a pandemic. They wanted to put everything on the line. Kubrat wanted his attempt to become a world champion. Anthony wanted to defend his throne. And thank you to the fighters for making sure we could be here this weekend. I want to thank John Wirt and Ivalo for all their hard work and the arguments along the way as well, and the emails, late nights, backwards and forwards, some things that you don't see. I also want to thank Bob Arum. Um, and we'll hear from him shortly and his team at Top Rank for all their hard work. And I particularly want to thank the two teams at Matchroom and 258. You know, this has been a really, really difficult exercise for us over the last few weeks in here at the Matchroom Residency at Wembley and also, of course, at Fight Camp at the summer. The team have done a great job and worked tirelessly to make sure we keep the momentum of boxing moving. And there's no bigger momentum than being able to stage the World Heavyweight Championship. 258, Freddie, Andy, Benga, KD, everybody in the team. It's such a great partnership. We're all working together for the same cause and I want to thank everybody for their help. Before I go to the gentleman up here on the stage, I want to just pass over to Las Vegas. I was disappointed when Mr. Aram couldn't be here. We know, just celebrated his 89th birthday. Not fit for, for travel right now in this environment, but we just wanted to catch up with him and he has a few words for us. Cooper Pulev is a really rugged uh, fighter. We were privileged to promote uh, a number of his fights uh, in the United States. Uh, and uh, because of his mandatory position in the IBF, uh, he was able uh, to secure this fight with Anthony Joshua. Now, Pulev went into very, very serious training in Bulgaria. Uh, he is in the best condition of his career. And frankly, I look for him not only to beat Anthony Joshua, but to knock him out. Pulev is a big, rugged Bulgarian. And I really feel uh, that Joshua is vulnerable and that Pulev will not only beat him, but knock him out. Now, I will greet that victory uh, with the joy uh, that uh, it brings to me because I've become attached to Pulev. He's a terrific guy and it's been a pleasure working with him. On the other hand, it will dis disappoint one of my other guys, uh, the uh, WBC champion, uh, Tyson Fury, because Fury was looking forward, is looking forward uh, to fighting Joshua. I talked to Tyson the other day yesterday, as a matter of fact, uh, and uh, we were already making plans uh, for uh, Tyson Fury to fight other fighters, because uh, uh, Fury agrees with me that there's a great, great chance that Pulev is going to upset the apple cart and beat Joshua. But that's why they do the fights. They do the fights to see what, what happens in the ring. I think without a question, whichever way the fight goes, it's going to be a very entertaining fight and certainly well worth uh, the money that uh, uh, fight fans in the UK will be paying uh, to watch it on pay-per-view. Thank you, Thank Bob. You, Bob. I uh, enjoyed speaking to him the other night. Really believes his man, Kubrat Pulev, will do the business on Saturday night. Pastor John Wirt, John, to say a few words. Thank you and uh, look forward to a great event on Saturday.
Well, thank you, Eddie, and thanks for having us. And first and foremost, thanks to AJ and Kubrat for doing this, because without them, we wouldn't be here. So kudos to both of you guys for stepping up and, and making this happen. I also want to thank, obviously, Eddie and your father, Barry, and uh, the rest of the team at Matchroom. They've been first class all around. I um, mean, this has been uh, really wonderful circumstances under very trying conditions. I also want to thank the network Sky Sports and DAZN, who will be televising this around the world. Obviously, I want to thank Bob Arum, our co-promoter at Top Rank, and all of his staff. I want to thank my partner, Evalo Gotsev, and everybody at Epic Sports, who's also worked very diligently to make this happen. And finally, I want to thank my family, my wife, and my two boys, Alexander and Bobby, who have put up with this crazy career of mine in, in boxing. Uh, as some of you may know, I was uh, Don King's attorney for 15 years, and he had a saying that I think is particularly fitting here. It's a hard road to glory. This has taken four years since Kubra first fought Derek Chisora back in 2016 to finally get here. There have been four separate exceptions by the IBF for Joshua to take other fights in lieu of fighting Kubra. There have been three failed purse bids uh, in, in the sense of we had to do a second elimination fight and we had to do a fight. Uh, so Dominic Brazili, we won a purse bid for that fight. He turned down the fight against Kubra. We did a purse bid with Dylan White. We won that purse bid. He turned down the fight with Kubra Pulev. And then we did a purse bid with Gerald Miller and he turned down the fight. Ultimately, Kubrat ended up fighting Huey Fury, who, to his credit, and to Peter Fury's credit, they took this fight, even though uh, Huey had, had suffered a, a significant cut prior to the fight. So it's been really hard getting here, but we're finally here, two days away. It's really exciting. We're really glad to be here. For Kubrat, this fight is about father and country. You know, Kubrat descends from an ancient people, the Thracians, prior to Bulgaria. And those people, they prided themselves on the prowess of their warriors. And that's what Kubrat is. He's a real warrior. He's here to do what his father dreamt for him. He, his father wanted two boys, or two, he wanted sons that would become boxers and who would eventually become world champions. And that's what Kubrat is here to do. Kubrat's in incredible shape. He's, he's thin, he's lean, he's a lean, mean fighting machine, and he's a man with a mission. And I believe on Saturday night, the referee is going to be raising his hand, and, and I believe there will be a knockout. And like Mr. Aram, I also believe that Kubrat will knock him out. So thank everybody, and thank you, Eddie, again for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you, John. We're gonna hear from the trainers now. First, Evan, welcome. Um, we know you've worked hard in camp with Kubrat Pulev. Looks in great shape. A lot of people talking about he looks light, he looks fresh, he looks ready, he's got a smile on his face. Ready for a big night on Saturday. Well, yeah, I mean, of course he's ready. This is what he's trained for his whole life. Um, it's a big opportunity and, um, you know, even more important, you know, it's, it's a trying time here in, uh, in the world right now. And um, he has a chance to um, take people's mind off easy a little bit um, with hopefully coming with his victory. Um, to entertain the public and the world, um, to so they can see through his journey of what he's done, you know, um, in his role to becoming a uh, heavyweight champion of the world. So um, it's, it's good for him to have his opportunity to help the world and to step towards normality, I guess, you know, with this fight going on. So we're ready. Talk about, obviously, the world right now. It's difficult to prepare. I don't think any fighter can hand on heart say they've had the perfect camp but you're pleased with, with your charge, you believe he's in the right shape physically and mentally to take the opportunity on Saturday? Absolutely, I mean, even more so mentally, and that's, I think that's the, the biggest point. Kubrat is mentally strong, and I think, um, I think we're gonna show a lot of upset, upset the Apple Carter, obviously. He's ready, and um, he's gonna do what he needs to do to win. And finally, your charge, Ansi Joshua, I'm sure you've studied him, I'm sure you've worked on him with Kubrat Pulev. Dangerous fighter, you know, he's in great shape as well. It's a big challenge. Two great heavyweights. Of course, he's. Uh, I mean, you know, he's respectable, and you need somebody like like Joshua to be there in order to hopefully make 
you know, the victory even that more, much more sweeter. I mean, if he wasn't, if he wasn't prepared, if he, if I thought that he wasn't the one to uh, to bring that 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 diversity to war school, right, it wouldn't be as good. So I think he's very well prepared and he's ready. He's in his home country. He's, he has a lot to prove, and I think he's gonna come out there guns blazing and try to prove it. Thank you, Evan. Rob. Again, obviously, the setup at EIS has been difficult for everyone in camp, but you guys have been working hard. AJ looks in great shape. Had a good camp and ready for a great fight. Yeah, he's had a real good camp. He really enjoys boxing. Um, we've been doing more boxing sessions, two a day in some cases, for most of the week, so uh, he's enjoyed that. Um, he's sparring great, really good. Um, his athleticism's brilliant. Um, his physical strength is phenomenal, I think, and that's, that's what you know people don't realise until they get in the ring with him is, is how he can move and how strong he is. And I think, um, you know, he's, he's, he's worked long and hard on the discipline. Doesn't underestimate anybody, takes everybody dead seriously, but... Um, He's not unified champ twice for, for no reason. He's a fantastic fighter and, um, you know, he'll only get better. And, and this is a good fight for him sat, uh, Saturday night and it's one that we look forward to. We know we've always discussed the name of Kubrat Pulev. He's always been there. Three years ago, you were just 10 days away from facing him at the Millennium Stadium. I know you guys rate Pulev very highly, very well schooled, great amateur as well. And it's going to be a tough fight. Yeah, of course it is. Anthony fights the very best fighters out there. That's, that's why he's achieved what he's achieved. That's why he's got the name he's got. He doesn't duck anybody. He fights everybody. And certainly Kubrat Pulev's one of the best out there, you know, if not in, in the top three heavyweights. He's, he's a really good fighter. But um, I believe Anthony's a better fighter. That's why he's the champion and we believe he'll prove that Saturday night. A lot of people talking about you know the old Joshua versus the last performance against Ruiz. It was a lot more you know careful. It had to be. It was a very disciplined as well. People asking if what Joshua we're going to get this time as well. Do you just think and you see him as a much more rounded fighter now and someone who has the ability to do a bit of everything? I, ju I just think he's, he's you know he's gone through a learning experience. Uh, you know wasn't 100 percent going into the first Ruiz fight. We took the rematch. You called me within 24 hours the next morning and. You know, in my opinion, he won the rematch comfortably, and we always thought he would. Uh, against a very good fighter in Ruiz, by the way, a uh, very strong, uh, underestimated boxer. But um, you know, Anthony's Olympic champion, he's unified champion. Um, he's going from strength to strength. Um, he's looking forward to fighting on Saturday. He's enjoyed the camp. He's, he's boxed really well, and the discipline that you mentioned, he's it, been, he's been in him in the spars. He's, he's been disciplined. He's been on point, and um, you know, Saturday night can't come soon enough. Thank you. We go to the fighters first, the, the challenger, mandatory challenger for the IBF title, Kubrat Pulev. Kubrat, welcome. Um, you've seemed very relaxed this week, very happy, uh, smiling around. You, you're good, you're fit, you're strong, you're ready to fight. Yes, I'm ready to fight because yeah, we, we stay a long time of waiting for this fight. Of course, 2017, I have a little problem here in Brust, and that's why I tell to my trainer, yeah, we we must go for a winner, for win, and that's why we must don't fight now. Maybe fight the fight. Uh, we can fight uh, one two years later, but I believe this fight come one day. That's why we don't fight 2017, and I'm here now, ready to fight good and to win. And I think Saturday night, I take the win. Obviously, you were due to fight around three years ago. Anthony was undefeated at the time, but more inexperienced. Do you think this is a better time or worse time to fight AJ? And you're comfortable with where you are in your career right now? I understand what you mean, but uh, yeah, 2017, I was 30, I don't know, 38, 37, 36, yeah. I, I was younger. And but also I have this problem, but by one from the sparrings, and I just can can fight because I was not I can I can training, yeah. But now I'm healthy, and yeah, I'm not uh, 22 years old. I don't have time, of course, but I'm ready. I'm here. I I'm happy that that this fight stay now because in this pandemic all the world, it's not easy. But fight stay and I'm here and I'm, I'm ready for fight, I'm ready for win. And finally, John said about you know, your history of uh, 
a warrior mindset. How deep are you prepared to go on Saturday? We know Anthony's coming prepared. He punches hard, he's fast. You as well punch very hard as well. You're willing to do everything to become world champion on Saturday. Yes, I think I have everything. I'm ready, yes, of course, respect from Anthony because, yeah, uh, Olympic uh, champion and world champion and, yeah, respect, good fighter. Uh, but, but I'm ready and I have everything to be champion. Thank you, Kubra. AJ, welcome. It's been a long year. Seems like, looking at the pictures over there, seems like years ago. Has been a year since you fought. This is a great fight for you. I know you've prepped very hard with Rob McCracken and the team. Excited to box in a new environment on Saturday of all the pressure that you always get, but ready to make a statement. Yeah, the pressure that I went through last year was tough, but made me stronger mentally, grew a thicker skin, and I've always been tough, always wanted to fight the best. That's never been an issue. What have I got to lose? I've got everything to gain. So I want to be successful in boxing. And the only way to be successful is taking on good challenges. And this is just another one that I'm looking forward to competing with. We were joking yesterday, I think it was, about fighters fighting YouTube guys. And you just said to me, I always fight these top guys. You know, you look at that run from the 15th fight, Dillian White, Charles Martin, Dominic Brazil, Eric Molina, Vladimir Klitschko, Carlos Takam, Joseph Parker, Alexander Povetkin, Andy Ruiz, Andy Ruiz, Kubrat Pulev. Do you feel that sometimes you don't get the credit you deserve for the level of opposition that you've been facing? Or is that not why you're here? You don't want that credit, you just know you're continuously ready to improve and fight the best. I want to promote boxing. I don't want the credit, I don't yearn for it. I want to promote boxing. I'm very motivated, I'm hungry. That's why I put myself forward for any opportunity. I've got family to feed. I've got friends that I want to do business with. You know, the world's my oyster. But at the end of the day, I can't expect anyone to love me if I don't love myself. So I respect myself and that's why I put in work every single day. I know it was difficult for you in the Ruiz rematch to keep those reins tied in, you know, when you pinged Ruiz and you hurt him. You know, you even said to me after the fight, oh, was that, was that all right? Was it entertaining? I said, no, you've done the business and you had a strict game plan for that fight. A lot of people asking if the maturity and, and what you learned throughout that experience will make you more cautious or we're still going to see that guy who loves to knock people out. I've been fighting at top level ever since I went into the gym. I had a three-year amateur career and I went from walking into a gym to competing at the European Championships, Strand Jump, Box Size, World Championships, Olympic Championships. I've been punched by the strongest people many times and I'm still here today. So that never changed me. So because I took a little loss to Ruiz, I don't think that's enough to change someone like me. I've got a lot of character. Every fighter trains hard, but it's character that separates us. And I feel like I've got a lot of character and I'll be keen to stand there. I'm going to go into the fight. I'm definitely going to get hit and he's going to get hit as well. So I'll be the last man standing. Obviously, it's been a difficult time for, for business, for the public, for sport. 1,000 people back in and, and 1,000 lucky people as well. You've been down, you've experienced fight camp, you've experienced uh, the Wembley residency as well for Usyk against Chisora. But it'll be good to see people, won't it, back in the arena with a smile on their face and good to see fans back supporting boxing in the arena. That'll be good for them, but my focus is just on Pulev. Um, no disrespect to the fans coming in, but I've got a serious job that I need to complete, and then I'll, God willing, I'm confident I'll enjoy the victory after. And finally, I know you rate Kubrat Pulev, don't you? You rate him as a class fighter, you, you enjoy fighting quality heavyweights. He's been operating at the top level for a long, long time. You excited for this fight? You, you ready for this fight? You ready to put in a great performance? I heard you say you don't think this fight will, will go to the final belt. I know Kubrat Pulev for many years. I was in the training camp when his brother was sparring Warren Baster. I was in Vladimir Klitschko's camp when he was preparing for Kubrat Pulev. So I understand some of the tactics that needs to go into beating Pulev. And um, I'm prepared for it to go to the final belt, of course. I'm, I feel like I'm a 15 round fighter, I'm not a 12 round fighter. I'm a 15 round fighter, so if it needs to go to 12 rounds, I'll be more than capable to carry my stamina, to carry my boxing IQ, my concentration and my strength until the final bell.
Well, thank you, Anthony. Thank you, Cooper. Thank you to all the teams. Thank you to the public. Thank you for everybody that's continued to support boxing during these times. We end the year with the biggest bang possible, in my opinion, the best heavyweight in the world, defending his unified world heavyweight titles against mandatory challenger Kubra Pulev, live on Sky Sports box office in the UK and DAZN around the world. Whatever you do, do not miss this. Gentlemen, if we could have a head-to-head -head up here, please. Watch it, go That's it, then.